big day, fun day, should be big change for how I do everything from the channel to just regular everyday computer stuff. It's been almost five years since I bought a new computer. It's, it doesn't, it's crazy. I didn't, it feels like, it doesn't feel like that, but whatever. So what I have here, you already saw the thumbnail. My brand new MacBook Pro, 16 inch MacBook Pro. This guy is spec'd out for video editing, but I can also put VMs on this. I can also run multiple things at once, which is what most computers can do, but this will do it faster. I am uh, very, very excited to do this unboxing. I think this is the biggest unboxing I've ever done, but they make a nice little tab and it just ripped. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm in the middle of like a dozen things for work right now. But I'm taking a quick break to do this unboxing and to un break this guy open and start playing with it. Here we go. Look at that. Look how pretty it is. There we go. Very thin. There are USB-C ports here. Very thin. Feels, feels a good size. Does not feel too heavy. Our USB-C cable, which is how we power our everything here. Documentation with the fun little stickers. And our power brick is the 100, 100 watt power brick. I am just really excited. And something I've been thinking about for a long time now. Ever since I saw them, I was like, well... If I do ever do go to back to go and get a laptop, it'll probably be that one, and it'll probably be these specs. And the great thing about this is, I have, I put in, I maxed out the RAM, I skimped on the processor. I did the 2.3 gigahertz, eight core. It's still a lot, but it's not. There's a 2.4, but I went ahead and went with the 2.3. I 64 gigs of RAM. I wanted to have a lot of RAM to do picture editing, video editing, of course. I shoot with the, my DJI actions and my and my Sony camera here and my even my phone. So that way I can manage multiple videos at once and it's I'm just I'm really excited about this. This is the Look at that. Oops. A hey, corporate logo has to put it the right way, right? So I'm going to open it up. It should, I think it starts automatically when I open it. Oh, I'm going to put this right by the mic. Thin little piece of paper. Oh, it's booting. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful machine. I knew it was coming today. <laughs> Eleni asked me, are you excited? And I said, I'll be excited when it's in my hand. It's in my hand. I'm very excited. Now, I'm going to demonstrate a couple of things here, but I'm going to get I'm going to get it set up and I'll break this into pieces and then I'll be back and I'll talk more about it in English a minute. English is the main language. Press the return key. Okay. You heard her. I'm going to start working. Some quick thoughts. The keyboard feels really nice. I like to travel on it, it's not, I have the 12 inch Mac and it has those little keys. I've never had a problem with it, but I, I don't know. I, I think it's fine the way it is, but now what I, what is happening with this, these keys, they feel great. I really like to travel at it, travel on it. And I really, this touch bar, I haven't played with it yet but how it looks in comparison to how the keyboard works or how the keyboard looks, I think it looks really great. This thing feels really nice sitting in my lap too. So I'm gonna keep going here.
setting up everything, making sure everything works. And uh, one thing I wanted to try was the onboard mics because the onboard mics are supposed to be really good. And the camera isn't great, but I don't really ever use it. But I would use the onboard camera to do things just like voiceovers and things like that for video and whatnot. So let's switch to this the uh, let's switch to the MacBook. So this is the MacBook video and audio. The video is 720p. It's not exactly the best in the world right now. Um, that's the one thing they kind of skimped on, which is funny. But the audio, it's supposed to have an array of mics that should allow you to record really well and have uh, almost like, you could probably record audio like a guitar or something on this just without having to plug a mic in or something like that. So. I'm just playing with it right now. Looks looks cool. This thing runs like a dream. It better for what it for have the specs that are in it. But let's go back up to the big camera and I'll talk about specs and then uh, I don't know. I'll do more stuff because I'm just excited about this thing. If I hadn't said that already. So that was the camera and the audio. I just recorded it so I don't know how it sounds but I'm assuming it sounds okay because I've heard other people use it and it sounds really nice the specs on this like I said I put 64 gigs of RAM I put a 4 terabyte hard drive in it because files get really big and I have a 2 terabyte I have two 2 terabyte drives that I use so at the very least I'll be able to store whatever videos I'm working on for the week on this machine and then offload them to the NAS. So I think that's about everything for now. I'm gonna do a bunch of videos on this thing because this thing's awesome and I'm, uh, it's gonna be my, my go-to for everything. I'm gonna do everything on this thing. That's why I just spec'd it out big so that way I can grow into it and it'll get big and bloated and I'll <laughs> think about getting another laptop and hopefully not five years but you never know <laughs> who knows anyway this is the macbook pro 16 inch um, and so far i mean it just it just looks really nice the weight is incredible just everything about it just feels really really nicely done and just really you just want to do stuff on it so that's what I'm going to start doing. I'll probably make more videos talking about it later. Maybe I'll do one like a weekend or something like that after I've edited a bunch of videos on it. On it, Because that's the, the big thing I wanted to do on this. So MacBook Pro 16 inch. Super, super excited about it.